Good evening. I have returned after being gone for a few days, uh, as I mentioned last stream when I finished Blaster Master Zero Three, which, by the way, amazing, amazing fucking finale. I was so happy with that. Um, I took off for Christmas, and then uh, I kind of fell into a whole like cave of depression on Sunday, and I couldn't finish the simplest of tasks. And then Monday I went back to work, and I felt miserable, and I was busy after work, so I couldn't stream then either. But I'm here now, and uh, we're ready to uh, move from being depressed to uh, being absolutely terrified. Watch this shit. I'm going to show you something extremely scary. Give me a brief moment here, and I will... I will show you something that's going to make you absolutely just shit your pants. Uh, take those off for a second. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Alright. Prepare, prepare your asses for this. Ready? Oh shit, wait. No, that's not it. That is good. That's actually really good. Uh, but that's not that's not what I'm talking about. Maybe maybe someday I will stream that. Here we go. Warning. Jump scare coming. In five. Out. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh Jesus! Oh my fucking god! That's terrifying. Oh. Oh no. Oh, holy shit. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Mostly, not physically at least. Uh, yeah, so, I, uh, I've been mentioning this for a while now. I got the Danganronpa uh, D Decadence collection when it came out on Switch, which is four games that they didn't actually package, like, because each of these games you could buy on the eShop separately, but it's more expensive. It's easier just to get the, the physical edition. The problem is the physical edition of this game doesn't compile them into a collection. It just makes all four of these pop up every time you insert the cartridge. So now I've gone from like 80 unplayed games to 85 unplayed games by count uh, SMT5. Also, I I got uh, Cruise and Blast last night because it's on sale for 20 bucks. So I was like, why the fuck not? Uh, so yeah, I you, as you can see, I've got quite a few games to uh, to eventually play, which I never will because I'm going to be stuck at my stupid fucking job forever. And at the end of the day, that's probably the most terrifying thing, knowing I'm going to be uh, absolutely stuck there until the end of time. But yeah, uh, tonight we're going to be doing... Uh, I have a question. Can I like, earn coins for all of these? Or is it going to be like... Is it going to be like you're get, only getting 20 for each one? You cannot collect the points of the software currently set for your region account. Cool, I wonder if any of these can do that. So while I'm checking these, uh, I am doing Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, tonight. Uh, why am I not doing Danganronpa 1? Uh, because I've already seen the whole game. I've already seen it uh, played on online by those two grumpy boys that people either love or hate. Um, their playthrough of this game of that game was hysterically good. And that got me into the idea of playing the Danganronpa games myself at some point. And here they are. All three of the main ones, plus this weird spinoff that's apparently not very good. Uh, and they didn't put Ultra Despair Girls on this, which is also not very good. Cool, no points at all for buying this. Uh, Alright, do I need to update any of these? Okay, no. Good. Good. So yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Game Grumps playing the first game. So I don't see... Oh, 3 has an update. That's weird. I guess there's lag in this game, in that version, so I'm not too surprised. So those two will update. Uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to play through it myself at some point, but right now, there's I don't, I don't see any reason why. I already know the whole story. That said, everything from 2, 3, uh, Ultra Despair Girls and the animes and stuff, I don't know anything about that. Um... So I am just super excited to, to play this, and uh, it's, it's going to take a while, because this isn't a short game.
Can't wait to see all my friends. Uh, bear, killer bear, uh, synthesized voice, anime hair dude. This is the one with, um, oh man, this music's actually very loud. <laughs> Hold on. This is the first time I've ever had to lower my Switch's volume to like 40 on the stream. <laughs> So, this is Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a it's a visual novel about people dying. That's that's what this whole series is about. Uh, this is the one with the, with the white-haired guy that everyone either loves or hates. It's so hard to tell because the internet just seems to be absolutely shocked and disgusted by him all the time. So I'm assuming it's hatred, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I like this 8-bit aesthetic for the title screen. Well, language is obviously going to be English, yeah. Keep English for everything. Voice cast is very good. Okay, so, you know, empty save files. New game. From the beginning. Alright, this hasn't been unlocked yet. So there's post-game in these, which is kind of weird for a visual novel, but, eh. I mean, the guy who made this and Spike Chunsoft, you know, all them Uchikoshi. Uchikoshi, I don't know, is involved in this. But, you know, they all, they all cram their visual novels full of extra shit. Okay, Revel in the Cacophony of Music. I like how they describe those. Feast your eyes on an array of movie clips. Uh, options. Let's see here. Oh my god, you can make the background voice louder. Reticle speed. So yeah, this is this game gets weird. Uh, reset settings. Exit. Oh. Set whether your view bobs as you move. Uh, <laughs> move? Good. Start the story from the beginning. Logic difficulty. Average difficulty for those who want to enjoy solving the mystery. Increased time limit and plenty of hints for those who want to enjoy the story. More choices during the arguments. Perfect if you're good at solving mysteries. I am, but I also don't know if I want to set it to mean. Average difficulty level for those... Okay. Dials back the action difficulty. For those who are good at solving mysteries, the difficulty is the, this difficulty is the epitome of major bully. I think, um... I'll set them to kind. There's nothing gained from from making the game harder for me. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, there he is. There's the person that everyone either loves or hates. Are you okay? He's now cursed the stream by showing up on it. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I'll do a quick sound check here. Situation. Hey, are you listening? I'll do a quick sound check here. Situation. Okay, actually, that sounds that sound that balance is perfect. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think of anything but the white-haired guy. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right! I... I... Pro. Starting PSC. PCS, excuse me, version 1.01. Okay. Dengenrampa 2. Goodbye, despair. Game start. Hot. It's a hot beat. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Look at him. Look at that bright-eyed, bushy-haired young boy. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I really couldn't put into words. I felt like I had just become part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. I don't know what that feeling is like. Why is it auto? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. How do I not do that? Oh, okay, it's R. Hope's Peak Academy. 
That place was so much more than a school to me. I mentioned that I'm playing this because, uh... Because I watched the Game Grumps for the first game. The reason I'm playing this now, actually, is because they started they started playing the second game back at the end of October or beginning of November. And I was like, no, I don't want to watch this. I want to play the games first. So, I'm trying to play through this now. Enjoy it, and then I could finally watch uh, their playthrough of it. Because, uh, I, I again, their playthrough of 1 was amazing. And then I'll probably play through 3 before they do. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, zoom in on that JPEG. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope and in doing so, shape the future. We really could have used you guys a year ago. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Turn down my uh, thing just a tad. So we're not peaking, peaking. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Peak. There, it's, it's also the Academy of Peak, but they don't talk about that. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I could put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special. It's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself, and formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. Probably should up the voice volume a little bit here. Oh. Just what it? Oh my god, what is all this? Auto mode B, increase the speed if you... What? Window on or off? Okay, you add the elements. How do I change stuff? Open help, open transcript. I guess I can't do that from here. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. Now be careful what you dream of, buddy. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always... Always, 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 until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why hope. I might have admired talent, individuality, finally, but I finally, forever, try my best, finally came to... Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry, because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No. Hold on. Headphones. Doing the thing that I hate. I should hurry. Oh god! Hello boy in the back. There's Wendy's in the front. She makes me want a burger. 
There's White Boy. Chef Man. Huh? Who goes there? Uh. Uh. Um, are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Uh, um. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at the school, right? Uh, then you're all. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. These guys, everyone. The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimates. I assume. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hmm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, of course. Oh god, I really gotta pay attention to the sidebar there to make sure I'm seeing who's talking. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident, thus to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I were drawn to it. But how did I walk into this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here. So is this like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. There's no way I'm going to be able to do 16 separate voices, so... I think we need to maybe dial the ex expectation back a bit. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid-looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! What do you mean, stupid-looking? So, in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here, and you don't know why. Hmm. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? <laughs> that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. <laughs> Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? So, in other words... Meaning we can only speculate... Speculate? Speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. <laughs> I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... It's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! S seriously I watched him rush right over to the door and try with all of his might to pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Why? A little while after we got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all! Hey! Hey! What's going on? Jeez! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. I'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? I gotta pick my nose real quick. <laughs> eh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we've been locked inside this classroom. 
Even though the door is clearly off the hinges if you look at it, because the wall's slanted. Locked inside? Ooh, I know that music. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt, as though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is an entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... But, according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! This is not an entrance what? exam. What was that? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! That's not what you said. You said, "Hey, fat ass." Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't disp dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you heard just now was not mine. Huh? Then whose was it? Um. It's actually mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? I just shit my pants. Perhaps. Discount Jotaro. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! I wish the partial voice clips matched the text so that I could just not read those lines, because this is gonna, gonna dry me out pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. What is that? I thought there was like a tiny blip where you could tell it went from the cutscene to a, uh, a still image. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami, a.k.a. Usami. How do we pronounce the star in there, though? I may not look like it. But I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to increase the volume of the voice. Well, or decrease the music volume. This game, considering that the whole my computer is only at 50% right now, where I usually have to have it on 80 or 90 for Switch games, that means these games are very fucking loud. Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with the talking chihuahua? Ah! That's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. It's giving me Zero huh? Escape 2 vibes. Oh, hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that could sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, it doesn't doesn't it look a little too lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the same. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of the school trip. What did you say? School trip? Come on. What do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students to go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. <laughs> now let us depart for the fun school trip. Depart? Excuse me. Drink that a little too quickly. Ah, <sighs> yeah, island life. As if playing Animal Crossing for two years wasn't enough. Now we're on. Now we're on an another island. I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain, too. 
the world just stopped making sense. Much like David Byrne. The classroom collapsed like it was a stage set, and what appeared before me was... Blue sky. White clouds. Blue sea. White waves. What? What is this? Oh. Sorry, Hajime. Didn't mean to speak over you. No matter how hard I tried to rationalize it, it was... Abnormal. Clearly. Unreasonable. Utterly. Blatantly. Wrong. Can we stop now? I want to stop doing that bit. Um. Huh? Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Where are we? Why? What's going on? Everyone. God, I can't wait for a few of you to get killed off so there's less dialogue to read. I'm sorry. Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. It's nice. That's certainly not a brilliant diamond and shining pearl water right there, though. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously where. <laughs> Out where it's better, out where it's wetter, Hello! out by the sea. <laughs> I, I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um... You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. My throat's gonna get hoarse if I keep reading. Something like this. But we were just at school and now we're at by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. We, we weren't. We just saw the, collapse, the classroom collapsed. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first! Sh she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. I see. Hope's Peak Academy. I see. I see. They don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then, in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard. How do you mean we should just forget about it? Come on. What are you? Just what are you scheming? Oh, uh, Whoa, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. This island. Auto mode, open help, transcript. Open handbook. I don't have the handbook right now. Hold on the B button, you can increase the speed if you hold down the, the down button at the same time. Auto mode. Uh, window. Okay. Alright, so giving presents is the only thing that I really didn't see right there. Press X to give it to them in free time. I can't do the handbook right now. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? You know Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? <laughs> K kill each other? That's... Nuh-uh, no way. Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill... Just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. Cha! So scary. What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right here. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule of this heart throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart throbbing school trip. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Good lord, I want to be there. Truly this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is... <laughs> everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering... 
My mind. My mind. Me oh my mind. My mind my mind. My mind ground to a halt. Oh yeah, Pizza Palace floor. Huge panic at the heart throbbing school trip. Chiaki, I know she's a popular character. Uh, Sonya, never mind, her name is a, a, a phrase. Uh, Gundam, Tanaka. Yeah, Gundam, I know, because his name is changed in English to have an H in it. Chef Dude is absolutely dying. There's no way he's living through this. I can't read these names. They're coming in at weird angles. So the large, large fellow in the white coat is, uh named Byakuya Togami, which is rather interesting, because there's a character in the first name. First game. First name. First game. There's a character in the first game with that exact same name. Same voice, apparently, because from those little voice clips, it definitely sounds like it's the same VA. But that kind of doesn't make sense. Also, uh, Byakuya in the first game is uh, very... is is He's slim. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how it works. Uh, I guess that's something I'll figure out as we go along. Love how stylish hey. this game is, and then it gives you like a basic bitch save menu. Can you hear me? Hello, juice boxes. How you doing? Oh, I just realized it's a play on juice box. That's good. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. Okay, so to be fair, to to be upfront about this, there's so much dialogue. If we start repeating scenes, I'm just gonna mash through them. Since we suddenly. Unless it's super important to reread it. Situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. Are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Yeah, speaking of pale, what's up with your hair, dude? White sandy beach. Crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. Pyakia just gained a couple of COVID pounds. Oh god. This is this is what the point of the island is, is to escape the, it's to escape COVID. I'm doing pretty good. Uh I've been better, but I've also been worse. I'm playing Danganronpa 2, so if that has any uh bearing on my mental well being, you could just assume either the worst or the best. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. I have no idea what's going on. How are you doing? That's the only thing I could say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the left stick, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the A button. You can then examine that person or object. Also, you could shift your point of view with the right stick. Push the X button. You can use the mysterious power to see everything that you can examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story. I like the games like it's how it's like kind of flat, but like it still angles itself interestingly. Notice, observe. Why does it tell you that and then like it doesn't let you like keep it on the screen? It's very silly. Not that it's really hard to figure out where to look. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What's it being used for? I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. I didn't know they imported them straight from Mario 64 though. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. True, you love the Danganronpa series, so I hope you enjoy your playthrough, and no worries won't spoil anything. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. This is... 
What? Oh, I can't move any further in that direction. Um, this is technically the first thing in Rampa game I'm playing, but I have seen all of one, so I do know uh, one story. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hmm? Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. Oh, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Nice to also not have the alert be balls loud for once. I'm so glad that this game is actually just really loud on its own and I don't have to keep the Switch's volume up. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How could he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. I'm kind of hungry, so I read that it's chilly guy. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Komaeda. Nagito Komaeda. Nagito Komaeda. Ultimate lucky student. And that's not the first time I've seen that title. Uh, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent, so you know why Hope's Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student. You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected to attend at random. Hope's Peak Academy and oh, excuse me. Is selected at random to attend Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. Transcript's not working when I'm pressing the, the minus button. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Like Never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope's Peak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Yes, I'm playing this through the, uh, through the Danganronpa Decadence Collection, which loads up all four of these games every time I insert it into the Switch. Which to me is really funny. You get you just get bombarded by Danganronpa every time you want to play one game. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, oh, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic, pessimistic, pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Um, hmm. Nagito Komaida, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it now that much. You're right. Yep. Then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we could get along. Obtained a hope fragment. 
Hey, did something just beep? What, what a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound now just definitely came from the inside of my pocket. Well, what the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Well, why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? It's an e-handbook! What the... Where'd you come from? Did I startle you? <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Oh no, don't say that. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. That this device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their e-handbooks to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments that the Flower of Hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is... The main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Hey! She's gone. Stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. But that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much about it as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is it that, what's her name, Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? Okay. Alright. I was thinking about picking up, but it's hard to justify buying the games again. Do you have a favorite character from the first game? Do I? Um... Man. Trying to think. I can't. I'm like I'm forgetting who was even in the first game <laughs> at this point. Sakura was definitely up there. The, like her her unusual character design, just the way she just just the way she handled everything, and just her attitude and her and her and her personality in general was really cool. Sorry. You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the Y button, period, at the bottom. It's super easy. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't... I, like, if you already have these games, I definitely wouldn't, like, rebuy them if you're really not in the mood for them. I mean, for me, I'm probably not even playing these portably. I'm streaming all of them. It's just that it coming out on Switch was, like, the perfect excuse for me to start playing it. So I was like, why not? I have it. At least for, I mean, Ultimate Summer Camp, maybe I'll play handheld mode, because I've heard that game is kind of not great, so it's probably not going to be something I stream a whole lot of eventually. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everybody's information, their viewers' features inside the book. You can also save or load your game from the handbook, check the system page, but there's more. You can also view the transcript. Okay. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend playing around with it yourself. Now please go forth and look for everyone else. Or you can exit the beach with the B button. Ooh, that little, little laggy. Review the map of Jabberwock Island. You can travel to specific locations. Oh, I just recorded something the other day with a, with a word very similar to the word Jabberwock. Oh, I can't access that yet. 
you any personal belongings you have on you. Uh, so I know how this... You could, like, get coins and, and purchase gifts. I don't know how much of that I'm going to be doing. I'll probably do it as I go along. I don't think I'm going to be going for perfect on any of these. It doesn't seem like it's entirely worth it. The report cards of each person who was attending the school trip. Height 5'8, chest 36 inches, blood type A, 147 pounds. January 1st, Kusamochi, Sakura Mochi, Ultimate. One? Ultimate Kusamochi. Oh, I see. Hope Those are how many hope fragments you have with each person. Okay, Sakura's a great choice. Hina, what's your fave? Kyoko and Shihiro were up there, too. Yeah, Kyoko was definitely uh, one of my one of the ones that were up there. Hina was nice. Uh, Chihiro was good. Question mark, question mark. Okay, so it's just... Nagito Komaida. Fear the rules of the school trip. Follow these rules and enjoy yourself. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let's coexist in this spy island. Be bountiful nature and useful. Ugh. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. See, when I flub up a line, I just, I just collapse. Like, I snowball around it. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Okay, well, clearly those regulations don't last. You'll be able to raise your own adorable e-pet. Come on, let's raise it. System. Uh, oh, good, I can... Drop that down a notch, drop that up a notch. Does it save if I do that? Okay, yeah, it does. Reports all statements and events as they unfold to prevent any danger. Oh, okay, so it's literally just the same as the minus button one. Is that an auto save up there? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So they apparently figured out... I, I hadn't mentioned this on stream, but um, Paper Mario on the N64 online is having some issues where if you die with Watt as your party member, the game crashes, and then it also reverts your save back to, like, well, it depends. And apparently they finally figured out why that's happening. It's because the Switch Online apps, all of them, don't actually save your data fully unless you close the app. So if it crashes and you haven't saved, uh, you lose data in it, which is so weird. And also the crashes are happening because of, like, a custom hack that Nintendo did in the ROM to, like, prevent a very specific thing from happening that no one could figure out what. <laughs> so that's really weird. I'm wondering if they're going to patch that, and if they do, I will gladly uh, stream the game. Because I do want to play Paper Mario at some point. Oh, they, uh, they, they, they wobble instead of bouncing. Okay. Leave here. Yes. Hey. Ugh, about exploring the island. Come on, man. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. You couldn't access it before, but now that I said that, you can access it. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I could give you some helpful info. Wait, you could research stuff like that on the internet? Yeah, everyone gets all their information on the internet. You didn't know? This school's so popular, a message board's online dedicated to talking about its students. Then I was also... Hmm, I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there somewhere. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island, then. Oh, I should apologize. There's something I forgot to tell you. If look at the map in your e-handbook. You'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, we need to travel to a point with an exclamation mark. Mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. First, island. Travel on the island can be done through the screen. You can move with the left stick. You can run by holding the B button while you move. 
If you press the left and right directional buttons, you can also instantly move to the next area. When the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the A button. You've probably realized that by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. It's like a little tear happening on the sand. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Okay, uh, I gotta get used to hitting minus instead of uh, plus. Never mind, that's still wrong, it's Y. Boy. And that's kind of it. If you have any questions, you'll be happy to help. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Little Puerto. Welcome to paradise. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? Can we use those planes to escape this island? Uh, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Yeah. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I could do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal who saw me. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You, you and me haven't been introduced yet, right? My name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. I can go for a soda. Ultimate mechanic. <laughs> As expected for someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Is that a baggage claim over in the corner? Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't seem that doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? I have to step again. That was close. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Yep, yeah. okay. So we're just reading this again. Now. Looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Mm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? But Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at the situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. The first fragment. For now... See, spin. Okay, thankfully the dialogue is a little less like you have to keep talking to people type thing. And if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. There's a pineapple in there. Just as I thought, a blank screen. Doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is up with that? Optimism is essential for people. 
Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. There's no danger on this island. Nothing tragic will happen on this island. It's wise to believe that while you live here. I have a feeling that that's very, gonna qu very quickly going to be proven wrong. You're dead wrong. You're dang and romping wrong. I can't think like that, though. It's going to be weird playing this and then immediately watching a playthrough of this game again when I, when I eventually watch the, the Grumps play this. Also, one second, I'm getting a little comfortable here. There's just something... <sighs> Nagito Komaida. Nagito. Na Nagito. Oh my god. Stop right there. If you value your life, don't come any closer. Huh? Fine. As I said, stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Gund Ham. Some some freshly gunned ham. I know that was kind of that was a point of contention way back when this first came out, when people were like, "Why they add the H to his name?" It's like because they probably can't call him Gundam in America. They can't spell it that way. Otherwise, they'd probably get slammed with a copyright lawsuit from Sunrise. Ultimate Breeder? I'm sorry, what? I don't like that. R rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Whose master are you? Eh? Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Answer me now! Though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do! Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! A mere insect! Face your powerlessness! Come on, read the dialogue instead of the stock answers. Ha! <laughs> your magic essence caps at a lowly five! Trash! T trash Really? Kneel. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to one as grand as me! My name is <gasps> Gundam Tanaka! Supreme Overlord of Ice! Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the There's more of them! Empire. Taming evil by myself... by uh, Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, that is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire! I like this dude in particular. This dude is good. <laughs> I don't want him to die because I don't... I don't want the animals to die. It's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk Jun P has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Is he related to Yoshi P? <laughs> <laughs> Yay? Uh, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he could tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he could speak to animals. Well, it's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own, their own scarf. <coughs> Is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> you know, I think I can get behind this dude. He loves animals, and he he loves theatrics. 
That's that's good enough for me. Okay, I guess that's everything here. Hey. Okay, you know what? I'd rather it be everything than uh than not because uh there's a lot of ground to cover in this game. Rocket Punch Market. Coffee. So this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food or necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guaranteeing anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? You certainly are the skeptical tyke. Type? Not tyke. Even though he is, uh... Even though Nagito just said uh, he was the, the, the pessimistic kind. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in this gigantic supermarket and nobody else is here but us. Oh, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? <sighs> That's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. She's staring at me funny. No. I'm sorry. Oh no. Why is she crying? Hajime. Pulling a girl. Not cool. I didn't do anything. Your name's Hajime. If it's okay with you, May, please remember your name. Uh, of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My, my name is Eikan Sumiki. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Ultimate Nurse. Aw. drawing a blank from nervousness. I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time to remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't... Uh, well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best to get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I, I can't help it. I'm just so happy, I can't remember the last time I made any friends. I'm sorry. Not that you actually wanted to be friends with me. I'm sorry, I said something so... Presumptuous. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I keep looking at her. Like, every time it cuts back to her and I'm reading the dialogue and I, like, glance up, I think that she has four arms for some reason. Like, her hair is, like, bleeding into the rest of her body. Oh, there's a lot of shit to examine here. Uh, we're still being watched. It's not a really good feeling. Okay, I, I want to observe the cola. Look at this. Look at this conch. That's one big cola bottle. Bet it'd go flat before you can even finish drinking it. Looks like a vending machine, but... It doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Surfboard. That being said, I'm not much in the mood for water sports. I would really hope none of no one in this cast is.
So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I can't believe the supermarket even sells stuff like this. Supermarket on a, on a tropical island makes me think of this game for the 3DS. It was like a very early, like, downloadable game. It was an escape room game where you worked on, like, a tropical island. Like, you lived on it, and you were just currently, you were, like, working on it. And I, I, you work in a supermarket, and there was, like, a big flood, and you get locked in the store. And then the whole thing is that apparently, like, the owner of the store had, like, a rivalry with someone else, and... It ends with you, you all in the ceiling, and I think someone pulls a knife on someone else? I can't remember. Very weird. It was very, it was very, like, oddly written. Oh, I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Did I play that before, after the Zero Escape games? I don't know. Whatever. Want us to get along. Please don't hate me. Cardboard cutout. Nagito. I see you. Peeking. Peeking. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Love those escape room games in high school when they when they were all made in Flash. Yeah, <laughs> there was one on the 3DS. It was on the 3DS. There was a bunch of escape room games on the 3DS. If you like escape room games, you should play the Zero Escape series or watch. Or eventually, I'll sh I might stream them because they uh, those games they all have escape rooms and uh, the story is is wild in those. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? That's right! Introductions are a go-go! E, Buki, Mio, Ta! Put it together and what do you get? E, Buki, Mio, Ta! Ultimate Musician. I bet my girlfriend could beat her up. Yes! Alright, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. Oh, bombastic, excuse me. I see, I see. <laughs> They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta. Oh, melons! Oh man, this is why. Why is this game doing no this to me? Problemo. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from your you Bari would shop here. Yahoo! Was your nose really long for a second there? I didn't. I missed that. I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. Please don't invoke Baskin Robbins in my presence. And when I'm excited, I get hungry, mungry. I don't understand it myself, but why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> this is the energetic young lady known as the Ultimate Musician. She used to play all guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently their hit single, After School Poyo Yon Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. But... Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Oh yeah, one of the characters in the previous game was part of an all uh, high school girl band. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was like the first character, the main character that game gets close to. Creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested? Well, you can hear me. <laughs> da, a Buki's a musician after all. Get like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna, I, too, am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. I am level two. Whatever that means. I see, I see. Her name was Sayaka, yep. Sayaka Maizano. I could only ever think of her with friggin' Aaron Hansen's Italian accent. Because he fucking called her Sayaka Paisano. Let's see. There's cappuccino, Darjeeling tea, K tea, green tea, yerba tea, oh, udon. Oh, also, hello. How you doing? <laughs> French, British, Turkish, Japanese, Argentines. Is it Argentines? Argentines. 
Even people from the Kagawa Prefecture would shop here. I don't know why I tripped over that word. I've said that one many times before. Why was that last one a food? Pointing. What do you mean? Udon is a drink. That's definitely not true. Man. Does the bar go up? Okay, no, it only goes up when you talk to them the first time. I Point. Okay, rocket punch market. <laughs> the hotel. Hotel Mirai. Wrong button again. Every game has a different... Like, uh, settings button. Okay, there I am. I haven't moved. Hotel, ranch, airport... Okay, so it goes in a circle. Beach, and that's where I was. Central Island? What? Pretty nice hotel. Perhaps the Hotel Mirai, huh? Looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live in this island, I was worried you had to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being uncomfortable. Or un or comfortable rather. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed if you press the X button. I said the X button, don't make me repeat myself. Oh lord! Okay, so this is going back to the uh, Danganronpa 1 style. Seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. Okay, it's all the same. Damn it! See? They, oh, <laughs> they have that little icon pop up right under the help thing. I wish they would replace that with a guidebook button. So it's like, oh, okay, I have to press Y. Clean. Oh, you have to get presents from he Really? You have to give them the same presents you give to other people? Hope meter, despair meter. Should be me. Oh my god, I've only met five people. Okay. Oh, it's flashing. Oh shit. I'm glad. Oh, it's the nose picking, dude. That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Oh, it is Nidai. I was like, it's, it says, it looked like it was Nida, but the I was an exclamation point. 
Uh, um, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Oh, you could be louder than that. Do it again for the sake of the stream. Let's not. My name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget, even if you go to hell. Uh, you're just repeating yourself. Y you don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous, and it's not just his voice. His whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is, is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs, managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby teams full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down, and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even trained that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American Leagues. Matsui? No, Matsui was like way before this game's time. If that's true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> Why's he got electricity coming off of his head? But with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Do that here. This dude, man, I would not want to be wearing clothes like that on an island like this. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly to and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. You? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. R relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Ultimate Yakuza. Wow, what a shock. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. He's also voiced by, uh, what? Uh, man, I can't remember the voice actor's name. Uryu, Ken. Fuyuhiko is a high school student heir to the Kuzuryu clan. Eh, the Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's THE Kuzuru... Uh, Kuzu... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and it's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less? Actually... By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, I guess not. Hey, bastard. If we're all done here, how about you and your dumb you dumbasses little bit have we're all done here? How about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? I sense he will be the Toko of this game. Or at least something like that. Some kind of equivalent of that. Hajime. Don't you think it'd be best if we looked around some more? Y yeah, you're right. What to do? Hey, 
Excuse me. No, 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 no. This old building's in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know. Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Ooh, that frame rate took a, took a hit right there. Hey. Aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? You gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Sexist much? Damn. Y you're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiru Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Ultimate photographer. Actually... Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a prominent future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Excuse me. Oof. That, uh, that Arnold Palmer's hitting me a little hard here. That non-alcoholic Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Sorry, one moment. There are so many goddamn bots watching this stream. It's so... I, like, I wish I could just disable that so I don't have to see them. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we could get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off the island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what the stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments you that you earn by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we could all leave this island together. That's all we have to do and we could go home? Is that true? Did she really say that? They're there to make sure you stay safe. God damn it. They're like the security cameras. Hey, you should be playing, playing. You should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must have feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. E even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of us bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. But... I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall... I'm glad. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Not a big deal, really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Eh? Don't eh me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Ah, oh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you, too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as the unreliable Hajime. You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change your mind. You better man up and try even harder. Thanks. That's why I call myself when I look in the mirror, Unreliable Michael. <laughs> I see you've been whipped. I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Um, you better do your... I guess that's everyone here. Bummer. Already unreliable here. Yeah. Oh man, my throat is already flemming up, and I'm not even halfway through the stream yet. Cows? Oh hell yeah. Usami Corral. Uh, this looks like a ranch. Have you been inside the hotel? Um... 
I couldn't go in there. They didn't let me. Oh, maybe I have to. Go, maybe now that I talked to everyone, I could go in there. Though there aren't that many animals around. Right? Oh, you found it out. You again? Seriously, where do you keep appearing from? Hi. I could show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on this island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? She talking about the toy she's holding? Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Bibbidi -bobbidi, bibbidi -bobbidi. I love this. Bibbidi -bobbidi, bobbidi -bobbidi. Through. Turn into a moo cow. Whoa! Huge success! What, what was all that just now? A, a chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. It's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. Yeah, I think um, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna start having the big, the big thing of water back on my desk instead of the Arizonas. Or maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I actually have a mini fridge now under my desk that has a few Arizonas in it, but. I also don't want to drink, like, two of them in a row. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? <gasps> Bird! Usami Corral, huh? I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. How many bottles of water can fit in the mini fridge? Mm, it depends. If I remove the little tray in it, I could probably fit th three to four, like, like Aquafina bottles in there. Uh, like standard Aquafina bottles, which, by the way, I don't drink. I do not drink uh, bottled water. I have a bottle that I just pour filtered water into and then I drink from that. That could probably fit in there, but also I'm just going to fill it up before streams. Um, it's a very small mini fridge. It could fit, if, if I have the tray in there, I could fit four cans of Arizona at the bottom, four cans of anything at the bottom, and then two cans on the top. Ha! Two cans! A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Based on appearances, it looks just like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow, anyway? But yeah, I do have yep. two, um... I do have two bottles of the, of the, to fit the water in. Maybe I could do, like... I can remove the- well, the problem is if I remove the tray, then I gotta take it out of there, because it's- it doesn't fit. It's a very tight fit in the mini-fridge. There's also another tray on the door that I have to- I had to remove in order to fit the cans in there. Yeah, it sure is peaceful. <laughs> that cow was raised on a tropical island like this, it's probably really tasty, don't you think? Was it even raised here? Why does this, like, snap back? It's weird. Squish, squish. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. Sayanji. Ultimate traditional dancer. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually... Hiyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. 
As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans are all probably the same niche or something. You mean they're... Pedophiles. Hey, what exactly are you doing? I'm squishing! Get on my level, bitch! I'm squishing! Squishing what? Uh, okay. Come again? <laughs> if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! you Want to do it together? Oh my god. The hell no. Uh, okay. So she's deranged. Got it. <laughs> you wuss. It's this kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Level up. I don't think I want to bond with her very much. March 9th. Oh, it doesn't actually list her age. I was like, how old are these people? I know they're I know they're freshmen in high school, but like is she actually young? What type AB? Ah, the universal acceptor. Douche. Dislikes milk, likes fried dough cookies. Lazy people. Freshly washed towel. 268 pounds. Jesus. His birthday is very close to mine. Likes Coke. Dislikes sugar free anything. See, now, I have to assume that they didn't get the rights to use the, the brand name Coke, and that there's, there's no TM next to that, so I assume that he must just like cocaine. And getting high as fuck. April 28th. January 1st. Or 22nd, May 12th. April 24th, March 9th. I always like looking at character birthdays and being like, Hey, that's the, it's the same birthday I do! Hey, Jem, how you doing? No poop. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. You're clearly that girl from Food Wars that wears the American, uh, flag bra. Squish Girl's birthday is close to yours. Oh, no. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I've met so many interesting characters today alone. <laughs> I'm Nagito Komaida. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Where, are any of their birthdays December 5th? Uh, I have to look again. Yo, the name's Name Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. I'll look again once I've introduced- once I've talked to everyone. Ultimate Gymnast. That is no surprise at all. Well... Akane is known as the Ultimate Gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the fucking charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. What? You're good. Found out Xbox finally made one of your favorite games backwards compatible. Nice. Was it Sonic Generations? Because uh, that game got a performance upgrade on Xbox One. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm a little tired. Uh, I'm really not happy about working this week, and it's it's aggravating me, but whatever. Huh? Don't tell me you... Unexpected. Get it? So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Mini ninjas. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. I've never played that game. Maybe it's great. You would know. You played it. Yep. <laughs> boop, boop, boop.
Central Island. I do have to go there at some point. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Hotel site. Okay, wait, wait, what? There's more people there now. Hold on. Two, two, two. Okay. Well, before I do that, let me go, uh... Let me go to Central Island, because I know Byaki is there. Hajime, if we go across that bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> That's where we're going up there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will we do? Ugh. Benage is gonna play through it on your channel next year. Nice! Should say next week. Ah, nice. Interesting. There's like five other bridges here. I gotta work all the way up to New Year's Eve, which sucks ass. I am not happy about that. It's like, they act like it's a blessing to get one day off at my job. When, like, everyone, when my mom and my brother are off for another two weeks still. It's like, okay, fuck off. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Oh, shit. Looks like there's another island on the other side of the, of the bride? Of the bride. It seems we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Hmm. So there's another... Okay, yeah. Alright. It's, it's, it's gonna be the same for all of them, isn't it? Doesn't hurt to do the rounds here, so I could raise that virtual pet a bit more. Speaking of, this this makes me want to start using my vital bracelet again. I just have to beat stage 14 and 15 with my current Digimon, and then I could raise another one. Jabberwock Park. We can ask the bride to let us move to pass. <laughs> Alright, I have a question. If I do that, does it actually count as steps? So, 598, 503. Nope, it doesn't. You have to actually take legit steps. count faster? No, it seems to be about the same. It's just distance covered uh, manually. Jabberwock Park. Oh, it's nice here. No, wait, no, never mind. Now it got less nice. So, this is a park? This is, this is, a, this is, this is, this is, why can't I say those words properly? Park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. If we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the keyword. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may already know this, but you have a level assigned to you. It's displayed in the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Skills? The fuck? 
It's a bronze statue of various animals. Plus, it's pretty huge. Amazing! What a grand statue! Yeah, it's grand, but also, isn't it kind of creepy? What? Do you think so? I think it looks splendid! I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. It sure is grand. The island symbol, huh? Oh, examining the same thing multiple times still gets you the, uh, gets you experience. I just noticed the bar is going up. It's kind of weird. Just what I've always wanted in a visual novel. Grinding! I knew my visual novel experiences were missing something. presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Hey. Ah, uh, Byakuya, have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? <laughs> Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakuya Togami. It's the exact same voice line that they used in the first game. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I, I can tell this guy is dumbing his nose at me. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually... This guy's particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. How admirable. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. It's like a manga origin story. Hm. You there, Hajime, was it? Eh. Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. How foolish. Um, yes. I do believe we've finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. His talent's going to be he's his talent is that he's going to be rich, yeah, pretty much. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? What the fuck does that even mean? Having a great deal of money, yeah. Wealth, he's affluent. And he's a descendant. So yes, he's the ultimate he's the ultimate inheritor. Did Hajime just body shame? Yeah, unfortunately they kind of all body shame him. It's a bit weird though, because there's a character. Without spoiling it, there's a character in the first game with the exact same name, voice actor, and almost the appearance. The only difference is that um, the character in the first game is, is slim. So there's obviously something going on here, because that character... Assuming these games take place in the same like timeline with each other, which I'm 99% sure they do, something's up. Because I'm pretty sure uh, Byakuya in the first game was already either a senior... No, maybe he was a freshman. Actually, I don't quite remember. Okay, you don't get experience for, uh... For, uh... Fast walking, too. Damn it. Oh, we still haven't met everyone. Sorry. Tomorrow during work, I just load this game up and, and just tape down the right stick on my Pro Controller. 
and have Hajime just walk around the circle until he reaches like level 50 or some shit. Beach. I think that's where we just were at the beginning. Yep. All right, we have to go back to the hotel. Big dude. Uh, piss, piss me off person. Mike of Gamer Tips. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Holy hell, my nose is, uh, is bleeding quite heartily right now. One second. <laughs> ah. Yeah, their nostrils fine. Okay, I think I'm okay. I, my nose was very dry. So I've, uh... Getting a bit of a nosebleed. I'm okay. Alright, I think it stopped. So, this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous, we could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open, even though we're stuck on this island? Hmm. Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. Hey, right, speaking of nosebleeds, look at this dude. <laughs> oh no, the, it the Italian looking fella. If his birthday is June 26th, I'm gonna punch someone in the face. That's right, I'm having a real hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison? I see. D hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa, denied. Denied? Good day. Hello, it is nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Why am I but not surprised? Did you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? You know? Hanamura. <laughs> I hope we get along well. There much we have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Okay. Alright then, maybe I'll ask you later. Ultimate Princess. So she's the uh she's the Celeste of this game, I'm guessing. <laughs> Celeste Ludenberg. Which is like you're Japanese, that's not your real last name. I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novo Selic. Oh, okay. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here. I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat? It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. 
She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actually royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? Well, what are you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend my own age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. Extol my virtues? The thanks. What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Uh -huh. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Well, guess Though I like the big it. city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Understand. Refined. Cultured. Guilty as charged. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I could get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pekko is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? I understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. <laughs> I better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about that stuff, I can't help but looking forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Oh. I thought the staircase was what would, uh, let me leave. You know, he's, Hajime's complaining about how calm Komaida is, but Komaida also, like, everyone else is as calm as Komaida here. I had a feeling this would lead down to the lobby. I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this really was a normal school trip, I'd be smiling right now. Yeah, I'm almost level 6 and we haven't even started the, the chapter 1 yet. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel sure is, looks kept pretty well. Excuse me. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Whoop. This place even has an arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't this great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn at the. It's like we're at an inn in the hot spring district or something.
I guess this is the receptions de receptionist desks, but nobody's here. Are there two different arcade machines? If it feels more like a hot spring in, the in than a five star hotel. Yeah, they're, they're two different machines. want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. Okay, she actually is the only one that has not said her name. I'm Hajime Hinata. It's nice to meet you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was like, oh, no wonder. <laughs> My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you, too. Ultimate Sniper. Ultimate Swordswoman. I was close. I thought I thought she had a sniper rifle in that friggin' thing. Actually, this dignified woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with the blade. I heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. But it may seem impossible to kill someone with this. A misaimed blow could be fatal. Well, well an aimed blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. And We're all Hajime. Saved Chiaki, the best for last. Look, she's got a little, like, hairpin of, uh, of Galaga. There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her yet either, right? Y yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me. I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Chiaki! Sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little. Are you sure about that? Um, Let's see. Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Ultimate gamer. Nice to meet you. Ultimate Esports Legend. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Yep. Totally. Seems like this conversation's going rather slow. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I could start talking. Yes, exactly. She's the video game girl. If, if Aaron... Does Aaron actually say that in the, uh... In the playthrough, because that's the whole thing. I haven't. Wa I'm playing this now because I want to watch uh, the Game Grumps playthrough of it. Because that's what got me into. I, I mentioned this at the beginning, but their playthrough of Danganronpa One is the reason that I want to play the rest of the series because it was hilarious and I really enjoyed the story. So I was like, "Fuck it!" Now I want to play this game. So that's why I'm actually starting with two because they're already playing it and because I already know the story to one at this point. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Oh, me too. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. They said she took Aaron's title. <laughs> She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how could she play video games at a time like this? Oh god, that drool is, uh, rather nasty looking. Yes, there it is. There it is. The Ding Dong and the Bing Bong. Was that a school bell just now? Huh? I can't... A anytime I hear that and then Hajime says something, I'm, like, so tempted to do the Aaron... <laughs> uh, visual novel protagonist voice. Was that a school bell? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. 
Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! So, I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. Death. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. What do it for a do? bit. No. No, no. I, I really don't want to. That's first off. That's very loud, and there's people trying to sleep at this point. But I, I don't know. I just ganking other people's jokes doesn't really suit me, because then I do them less good. She said to meet at the beach. I, is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. But. Thinking won't solve anything. We could do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm a little worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Hey. Being absent-minded won't get us anywhere. Let's hurry on and head over to the beach. Yeah, got it. So I have a question. Does my pet get steps in this mode? For 680. 680. Okay, yes. Yes, it does. Does the pet evolve? Yeah, after you get enough steps. Problem is if you like fast travel, it doesn't it doesn't get steps, which is annoying. Such ignorance. You guys are the last to arrive. What were you dilly-dallying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. Listen. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. Now that you mentioned it. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Those are, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we don't get lost. Is this island really so big? <laughs> But if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before. Hey, hey! Also, there's a big ranch. Um. There's also a large supermarket, too. Looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we could stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel is also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on this island. Girls, very, very cute girls. <laughs> All over the place. Gross, I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody's mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What'd you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit. Such ignorance. Small dog shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth. What does he mean? Oh god. Do, do I really want to talk to everyone? Gundham. <laughs> I'm just like, anything that's not story related, I think I'll just kind of glaze through here. What is it? Hey, hey! 
Hey! <laughs> Soda man, hit me up. I need some I need some coke. Gamer girl. You are right. Listen. <laughs> That's totally it. Booyakasha. Do you have gerbils or guinea pigs? I think they're guinea pigs. Or hamsters, maybe. However. Sheesh. are for contacting us. That's why they're all over the place. State. All right, lay some truth on me, Togami. I wonder what it's like to own hamsters. Eh. I mean, they're mostly in their they're mostly in their tanks most of the time. Kind of not really like interacting. I mean, I guess you do interact with them, but definitely not, uh. Definitely not. Whoa, what is this? Don't tell me that's blood on my screen. Oh my god, I think it is. I think I somehow got blood from my nose all the way into my computer screen. That's not close either. I need, I need to take a short breather here. <sighs> Ugh. Hey, so what's the most serious truth? D did you find something out about the island? Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. Oh my god, did we really walk from the first island all the way to that central part? Sounds like that would be a very, very long walk, given how big these islands are. It is also said that five holy animals symbolize each of the surrounding islands. Yeah. Listen. That island's name is... Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Jabberwock Island? Is... is that the name of this island? Very strange. There is still... there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold on! That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh... I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Yahoo! Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to it. Right on, this ain't ha a bad school. H hey, you guys. I like it. Huh. Can't say the same about the rest of you cretins. Hmm? Did I hear something? Hmm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. 
No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Yeah? Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world, either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um... Then, why don't we just swim home? It's impossible! There's no way we could swim that far! Show some spirit! What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible! Then what if we cut some down some uh, what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you. Can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Please recall the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? That's enough. This rabbit seems rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that. What if, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? Oh, uh, the word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? Hm. There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. If you litter a week's detention, I think it's worse than that. Hey, hey! Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Whoa! That's right! Well, of course I didn't forget. Okay, you know what? If I'm doing this for another hour and a half, I absolutely need to, to crack open another one. One second. I think this is the first time I've opened the fridge during a stream. Holy hell, is it hard to pull stuff out of here. It's an electric fridge. It plugs into the, uh... It just plugs into the power, and then it kind of just uses a fan to ambient cool what's in there. So it's like, it's never going to be, like, a set temperature. It's just going to be 40 degrees below what the room's temperature is. So, I mean, for me, that's pretty cold. It's about 70 in this room, so it goes down to 30. You can also heat food in up to 150 degrees, which is nice. Keep your food warm. Ah, oh, that's right! Well, of course I didn't forget. This is it. Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? It's a new Sami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl, Usami. I'm an itty-bitty girl who's sweet like milk. That's uh, dialogue, all right. Fridge also warms food. Yeah, um, there's a switch on the back, and if you turn it on to heat, it, it heats up to 149 degrees, specifically. So it's not, you can't cook food in there, but you can keep food warm. Isn't it cute? Love, love. What a waste of time. Aww. I got my hopes up, too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. You can't take nature with trash. No. See, even you think they're trash. Milk is sweet. I guess it could be sweet. Usami sadly picked the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you, bad kids. Be... You have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Hey. That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct! Wow. Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful. Anyway. Excuse me, Miss Sonya. My lungs are still full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Dude, I would fucking 
punt this asshole in the face if he said that in front of everyone else. Wait. Knock it off, Teru Teru. All right. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha. That's... Just ignore him, Sonya. I got it. If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something. Uh. A campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. Are you serious? Is looking for one not enough for you? I see. It seems everyone has our different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... This is what it's all about. This is... A swimming bag? Love, love. Correct! Whoa! Then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. Are, are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? Yes. You do the same. <laughs> As in, you'd, you'd, you'd kick Terra Terra in the face. It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything, it's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. Th there's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Yahoo! Yeah? That's right! This is what I'm talking about! With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. <laughs> Even my loins agree, see? Right. Your tender loins? I understand. Wait! S seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? <laughs> Alright, let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Usami. And ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. What are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to. <laughs> but if you feel up to it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually... wrong? <laughs> Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Man, he's so blunt. You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. I'm, like, really, really sleepy right now. I, I see. It'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like, definitely drown. But to be sleepy in a situation like this, she sure got some bold nerves. You're not going to swim? It's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. Uh, I see. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! As Usami said that, I turned around and... saw a group of people wearing swimsuits... suits? Swimsuits? Swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Okay. Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. That would be amazing. I would love to do that. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Hey, you know. You know, Teru Teru. You seem a little I kind of like you a little better now. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I... I... <laughs> I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, 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 ding. Cover every hall, yeah. Let's keep up the pace and do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. Teru Teru makes me think of, um... Who's the guy everyone hates? Um... Great boy. Pop-off man. Um... Mineta, from, from My Hero Academia. 
And supposedly there was like a rumor going around that he was a, like he was actually like bisexual, and that he liked Deku. But like I don't I don't know. That that never panned out. I think it was someone just saying like making up shit. Not that it really like again it doesn't it doesn't erase the stupid shit they say. It's also it's just kind of funny. Chris. Let's keep up the pace and do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. Just gotta do it, right? Then, I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it! Huh? Why, Jimmy, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few moments ago. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment. Just when it's couldn't just when it seemed like it couldn't get more confusing. It suddenly happened. Oh boy. Uh, uh, mic check, mic check. I'm here. Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised, right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be? This voice. But this is. Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. But hey, wait. Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey. But, but whatever. About, what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time for them to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit. So what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? It's really funny that, that that's called Jabberwock Park for a very specific reason that I don't want to go into detail about, but tomorrow, um... On my main YouTube channel, there's going to be a YouTube video uh, that uses a word very similar to that. I guess it makes sense for their. Okay, yeah. What am I doing? Hey, Psycho Killer, Kiss Kiss say, what are you doing? Aww. There's just too many Mr. Krabs. Hi. Fine, I'll just step on them later. No! You crabs better run while you still can. SpongeBob, me boy! This crazy bitch is stepping on me! Crystal clear sea changed color. Looks like it'll swallow me whole if I stare at it for too long. Does it look like that because of the malicious voice we just heard? Hey, Admin, how you doing? Money, money, money. That one dude on TikTok who does the, the, the Mr. Krabs voice is very, very funny. <laughs> oh, it fast forward us here. No one, this just started. 
As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking about? <laughs> eh? Hey, hey! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> yeah, I'm only two and a half hours. We haven't started chapter one yet. There he is. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Long time no see, guys! Wait, what? I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! Is he talking to the player because this is the second game? Or is there more to that, probably? I'm, I'm assuming there's more to that. Monokuma! Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame. This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? I'm talking about food. Just as I thought, it was you! Is that Woody Woodpecker? Yes! He is very much Woody Woodpecker. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? I'm livid, you know, and I'm about to ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored. So hopelessly bored. Hey! This ain't fun at all. You better knock it off this farce right now. What are you thinking? Oh, I gotta crack my neck. You've gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. What the hell is up with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! Opening! I saw panties and an ice cream. Dun, da, da, da. Victory! No! My magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> Not liking this. This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still! This wooden stick isn't gonna shove it. Oh my god. Did he change her dress into a diaper? Monokuma, you sick freak. to look weird like this? Change me back to normal. It looks silly as fuck, but within context, this is fucked up. I mean, it's implied that he shoved the magic stick up her ass, so... What's this? My mind, to find your big brother's fashion sense, is Monomi a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother? Monomi? My little sister! Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Monomi. Oh, it's only an external setting, after all. Hey! Well, why do I have to be your little sister? Well, why? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? It's more than that, but you'll see, uh, I figured... I don't like this. That really doesn't feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me Big Brother! So that's how it's gonna be, Manomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. Ooh. Even the display changed to Manomi? 
I won't forgive you. Uh, you, I won't let you make up your own settings. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other. It's like completely insane. If only I stole the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even one second opening is a life-threatening... Even a one second opening is life-threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. What's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who friggin' knows? Mm. But it's obvious something bad is happening. What is this? What's going on? Huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What is this black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? Yes. Have we established that already? What, are you guys getting paid by the word? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it. I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. This is... Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway... It appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. Yeah. From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along and has no stimulation at all, and it's... Uh, excuse me. A school trip where everyone gets along and has no stimulation at all, and it's so damn boring! Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey! Hey! You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting! So let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Killing contestants? I won't forgive you! Well, what are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Monami's such a dumb child. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in the manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain! We got off topic for a while, so let's get back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> well, what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious you guys are going to kill each other? Well... I see. Kill each other. Are you kidding me? K kill each other? Oh, wait, no way, no way! That's impossible! Don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yahoo! If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then we'll make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of the killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you'll be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. That is... Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the Killing School trip! <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it! <coughs> I'm already getting excited! 
There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw! Is he referencing the Jabberwock? Hmm. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Ching. Please choose whatever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you could kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic! <gasps> I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. Well, that happens to me, too. Uh, you might want to, uh, check your cholesterol levels. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me! That's right! Who on the earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no! But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait until you're in- it'll, it'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. What's going on? Well, what if nobody gets murdered? Does this mean- well, does this mean- <sighs> Ugh. Sorry. The visual novels, when I read them on stream, I get phlegmy really quickly. It's also been two and a half hours. I'm only gonna go for like another 50 minutes or so. Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute, why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Huh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now! I have no idea! I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen! I'm gonna do it! Oh my god, what the fuck? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of a black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to who would who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Well, I guess I expected this reaction. You guys wanna do things by force, and I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! What are you gonna do? Force? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts! Mana beasts? What the fuck? Are you kidding? Oh, I like that. I like the bird. What the shit is this? I like how, because of the how the game's set up, everyone's just looking away from them. I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived out at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. What is this? Wrong! That's no statue. They're mono-beasts! Ah! monster no, I just said they're mono beasts. They're benevodons. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. Okay, so it's normal then. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. A am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just invented his brain as a total flower patch. Huh. Unbelievable. You guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just outright deny it. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Please stay back. I will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Herc. Huh? What's this? Ha! <laughs> 
I know, this is nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Let's go! It's punishment time! Uh-oh. I mean, given given who the first person Well, I guess not the first person, but given the person that Monokuma directly kills in the first game, uh, and their plot relevance, I imagine that uh that we will be hearing more about that about that bunny about Monomi later. What is that? Oh my god, she's she's going rabid. It's only the first stage and Minomi is already dead! What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction! Even though it's a life-threatening monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. Not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. The reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example to what was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were all completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. I believe my made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere won't work on me at all! Hmm. Hmm. Also, in addition to the Killing School Trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the Killing School Trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then... Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Thus Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh... You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers, 
in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that killing may never occur. But, even I'm no different. So can I truly be confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start being suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. Trust nobody, not even yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Oh, hell yeah, now we get the actual opening. That was a good two and a half hour pro uh, uh, prologue. Ugh. Interesting. A lot of this footage is uh is reused from the first game. Not all, not a lot of it, but some of the footage of Monokuma. Exciting. Big Yakia, Togami. But why? Why is he here? Why is Yaki here and why is he why is he big? Welcome to Dangan Island. Panic at the heart throbbing school trip and <clears throat> Surviving Students 16. Dang, that sure was some rumpas. Fosho, broken wand. Fosho. I, I don't like the save menu. Like, why? Why is the shading so subdued? If you played the first game, you probably noticed something very off. Um. About Byakia? I mean, yeah, I haven't- well, I haven't played the first game. I've seen the first game played. That's why I'm starting with two, because it's like, well, why am I gonna replay one? I've already seen the story. Um... I already know about- I, like, I've already obviously noticed Byakia. Um... Nikito, too. Komaida. There's something... There's something about him. I mean, the internet already acts like he's, like, a, a sin against humanity, so I don't know what his deal is, but I guess I'll find out. Um, but his name is, uh, is, uh, it's, and I noticed this before, what was it? His name, his name's an anagram of the main character from the first game's name, with an extra syllable at the end. Like, I was like, Nagito Komaida... M Makoto Naegi. I'm like, w wait, why do those match up so well? Again, I don't know. I actually do not know what his deal is at all. All I know is that he... And they're also... They're also bo the, the other thing that makes me suspicious is because they're both the ultimate lucky student. Because Makoto 
was originally picked as the lottery winner. So it's really weird that their names are like very similar and that's that's obviously done intentionally. But again, I'm I'm sure that's going to be something I don't figure out until like way way later into this game. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the Blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the Blacken is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving Blacken will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the e-handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was my this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. Studying, school, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures, going to school, attending school, being at school, leaving school. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw star stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived on this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmates will be able to leave the island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually... Everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night. A night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair Daily Life Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Oh, I want that. What is he drinking? I want that. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. But if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you. <laughs> bye bye. Good shit, my dude. Damn, that's ominous. Damn, I'm huge. A cottage, huh? Play some video games. Some vitties. Definitely feels more like a hot spring inn than a five-star hotel. I haven't seen that type of video game in a long time. We're, at, we're definitely not getting to someone dying tonight, unfortunately. Unless it happens in the next, like, 20 minutes.
Maybe it will. Maybe someone will be dead by the morning. But knowing Danganronpa 1, I don't think the first death happens until, like, about a week in? I don't know. Not even a week, but... Jockey's Cottage. Okay, everyone's got the same flavor text. Cottage, Hajime Hinata. Beats the shit out of the rooms from the first game. Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I could trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I could trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. Trust nobody, not even yourself. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realize there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. You could trust Nagito. He seems fine. Komaida? He wouldn't hurt anyone. At that moment, I let out a scream. Ugh! I'm not doing loud noises now. Sorry, it's almost 2, 3 in the morning. A scream erupted from my mouth. Yeah, you just said that. Oh, it rushed from my mouth like a water from a collapsed dam. Just have the voice actor do those, please. Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ugh. I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears, this is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Ahem. Danganronpa 2! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair from a friend, you always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy to be safe. Now then, it's been a while since the main story started. So I'll give you the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Now then, until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest. Uh, ding dong, bing bong. School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. Yeah, the fourth wall demolishing. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. Maybe you had to burp. I guess for now, I should go outside. No, no, no! You're not allowed to go out! M Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons! Fun reasons? Hey! Um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste of time to just throw them away, so... I've hidden them all over the island. They're scattered all over the various areas, so just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Too bad. And I said so. You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Well? Good luck! 
damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. Wherever I go, there's surveillance cameras all over the place. Whoever's controlling Monokuma must be monitoring us with these cameras, too. It pisses me off to think I'm being watched by a lunatic. But there's nothing I could do about it. Now, without spoiling the first game, um, the identity of Monokuma's controller was pretty definitive, and what happened at the end of that game was pretty definitive, so I have to wonder if this is the same person, or, or what. Oh, this is the same music from the first game. This room has a lot of windows. They probably wanted to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really the time to be grateful for that. Monokuma contact us through these monitors. I really want to break it, but who knows what would happen if I did that. Guess I gotta leave it alone. Maybe this is a prequel? It's possible, but there's clearly stuff going on that you would only know if you played the first game, so... Really wondering about that. Huh? I've been found! Obtain hidden Monokuma. Obtain 10 Mono Coins. Epic! Good job! I've also left you some Mono Coins. I'm so generous! These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the Rocket Punch Market. I've also hidden the stuffed animals in other places, too, so do your best and look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise! W what? Never mind, I should just go. It's just plain fucked up, yeah. This is where the Monokuma plushies are placed. I'm putting stuff like this here without my permission. That was there last night, though. bed is pretty comfortable. Where's the pillow? Oh yeah, this is my first stream back since Christmas, so I didn't talk about what I got for Christmas. Um, as I showed at the beginning of the stream, I did get Shin Megami Tensei 5. I will play that at some point. Don't know when. Probably not anytime soon. Um, my brother got me a bunch of Metroid Amiibo, which I didn't at all expect. That was a complete surprise. He got me the uh, Dread set of Samus and the Emmy. And he also got me a Dark Samus Amiibo for Smash, which is cool. Um, it's it's definitely not an easy one. Well, it's an easy one to find. It's just not the cheapest. So that was really nice of him to get me. I wish I had room to display more Amiibo. I kind of have to put it off to the side. But uh, someday, I'll have a way to display them better. And then my mom got me a, uh, a weighted blanket with uh, a nice cover for it and some new sheets for my bed. And uh, also, my brother got a new mattress, so I'm taking his old one, which is slightly better than my current one. So I'm going to be sleeping a bit easier. The uh, Oh, she got me a new pillow, too, my mom. It was really nice of her. And uh, my girlfriend got me... She got me some stuff that she hasn't given me yet. We're going to wait until the next time we hang out. But she also got me a commission when we went to uh, MFF from uh, one of my favorite artists. An art that she had no idea that I liked. She just saw them and was like, hey... The stuff you draw is something that he would like, so can I get a commission? I've posted it onto my, uh... Onto my, onto my various places, and no, I will not show it on stream. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's this kind of situation, after all. So yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice Christmas. I got everyone nice gifts in return. Alright, I got a Pippi to exit. Uh, but first... Okay, that's just the transcript. Truth bullets. Okay, can't do anything there. Faux show break Pokemon. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. Usami had this magic stick. But it's seriously broken. Faux show. Ah, so it's, uh, that's literally what the faux show means. <laughs> it's literally about it, it's it's literally for show. Report card. All right, never check this. Usami's reward remaining fifteen. Please select the skill you want. What? Moon salt maneuver increases jumping power effective during the logic drive. Charisma. 
and increases influence gauge recovery when correct answers are chosen. Effective when making choices or selecting a true bullet. Focus gauge decreases a slower rate during concentration and fever time. Effective during the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and panic talk action. Increases bullet capacity. Allows you to lock on to two statements at once. Sharpness increases by two. Effective during the rebuttal showdown. Cannot be combined with fine sword. You can buy skills with hope fragments. It's this kind of... Reduces your aiming speed. Effective during the non-stop debate in the improved hangman's gambit. Cannot be combined with upshift. Basically helps you seduce better in the game's context. Slightly steadies your aim. Cannot be combined with tranquility. That's not even on here, so there's more later. Deduce, yeah. So it increases the influence gauge. Cannot be combined with the envious influence. So there's, yeah, there's more shit. Speed. Oh, so that's better. Well, let's get the most expensive one first, because why not? Use your aiming speed, and what's this one? Increases your aiming speed. Okay. I get you. I get the picture. Oh, we got a new page for everyone. Well, just him. Level 7, skill slot 7, max influence 3200, max focus 29, 290. Oh, I can see everyone's uh, birthdays now. June 30th, close. December 22nd. What was the one we were looking for? December 5th? December 4th was the one Jem was asking about. 5th of December. May 12th. Bathroom. Likes bathroom smells. Ooh, she's into that kind of weird shit. April 24th. March 9th. October 13th. March 14th. July 15th. August 16th. February 22nd. September 2nd. Likes mama. Dislikes junk food. June 29th, he's the closest to my birthday. December 14th, May 5th, April 28th, January 1st. No. Can you just not equip these right now? Wait, why, why does one have an English name? Uh, who? Uh, Sonya? Yeah, Sonya, never mind. She's apparently from a foreign European country. That's very, uh... I, I don't remember the name of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't clean up your poopy. Alright, can I... This present is too valuable to give away. Sorry. Hope and despair meter. I don't think I ever passed that part up there with the, the monos. Oh, I see. The other islands are on the uh, on the map down there.
Ah! Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I, I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it! Oh man, not good. What the hell are they anyway? Definitely not good. Wh what are you talking about? Ah, uh, the bridge, you know. Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? Uh, no shit. Why the else would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Uh, oh my God! It's here. So cool. The mono beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get too close to them. Damn it! So annoying. Can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aw, oh, man. I can't. There's no way to get a grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey. What's with all the noise? Ah! Another m m monster! And I came all the way to get you both, but if you're going to call me a monster... Eh, you're here to get us. Well, obviously. I was told to get come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant. Damn it! Whatever, man, I don't care. I don't care at all. Ah! I'm out of here! Hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. This camera is a little slow. You're late, Hajime. And where's Kazuichi? I thought you two were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... But... Running, but where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However... After what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? I don't remember anything happening. And even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Understand. Yep, yep. Not worth remembering at all. It would be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just outright deny it like that. Hey. Why have you gathered us here? Hmm. Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Ah, uh, wait a sec. That means the reason you told us to come here is... Pointing! Apparently, Monsieur Buakbyakya has something to tell us. Really? What? I'm gonna do Obviously, we're here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we could fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit. Let me tell you A this. bold boast, however. Let me give you some advice. That was close. The truly strong do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, we can start talking. Jeez. Fine, I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone, wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. That's fine. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Um, where did that food come from, anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. <laughs> they even have crab and shrimp. Oh, that would kill me. Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, stuttering face. <laughs> oh, my uh, ugly, stuttering face? Gross. 
That's it. That's the face right there. Oh, why? Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh! I got it. Taro Taro prepared this food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. This is bad. Tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lonely peasant food. How rude! Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourselves. What? What does that mean? Well done. Let's just say your jaw would be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pekka was wearing, for example. What did you say? You creep, how do you know about that? Yeah, he's the ultimate cook, but he insists to be called sh a chef. He guessed correctly? However... If Taro Taro did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... <sighs> Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison, just to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk around like that? Oh, man. So stop. Don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you're all flashy, you look like you're actually a big coward. Be careful. Are you gonna be okay? Do people like you usually are the first victim, you know? I just want to go home already. Whoa. What the? No, 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 no. Can you even call that trippy? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping. Good lord. Th thank god for the conveniently placed arm. Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. You realize how big of a bitch that girl is? You're the photography girl? She's not very good. Oh, Aww. She looks so adorable when she's embarrassed. It's so moe. I'm practically snorting with joy. We, we should help her up. Are you okay? <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Oh, the one in the kimono? Oh no, she's she's a psycho bitch. She was killing ants for fun yesterday and stomping on crabs. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anybody, anyway, anybody, anyway, anybody, anyway, anybody, anyway, anyway. Everybody's here now, right? Let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Ugh. Hey, hey! That's enough. Lies! Semblance of a demon principal on this plate. You honestly think that is a large pile of food? You! Let me say this. Do not even think about copying what I do. This much food is beyond you, lowly peasants. I'm the only one who could possibly eat this much food, for I've overcome the hardships of the past. The hardships of the past? Well, this confident attitude doesn't suit him at all to talk about stuff like hardships. Try saying that again. Hey. Akane, you shouldn't. If you attempt an eating competition, it will ruin that perfect figure of yours. What? Do you have any idea how much money I spent, spent sculpting my physique? Are you telling me I need to lose weight? What are these guys even fighting about? You know what? If he's proud that he's if he's proud of his weight, then by all means, that's that's awesome. I'm very happy. Hey. For him. I hope Mikan is going to be okay. Even you know, if she's a nurse, it'll still be difficult to treat her own. I'm not going to eat every one of these. This is the Tanaka Empire. God, I love his little hamsters. This world. They're so cute. 
No need to listen. No, no we need to listen with Byaki. Oh, I was looking out. Peko Peko Yama. It's hard for her to move around with normal undergarments. It's the only reason. It was the only way, Tony. I'm glad that Nagito at least doesn't deal with this bullshit either. Hey, hey! We tripped over nothing. That sort of thing only happens in manga. They're not hamsters. This dark underlings of his empire. Yeah. The <laughs> nom nom morning. <clears throat> this is troubling. Sorry. Nikon, are you okay? You said your head was throbbing. <laughs> I'm alright. It actually happens a lot. Thank you very much. For worrying about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, if she <gasps> had the Peter Griffin voice. Chicken meat. Make sure you consume as much chicken meat as you possibly can. What are you talking about? If you want muscles and you must consume chicken. Chicken is low in calories and high in protein. Now's not a good time. I see. No worries then. Um. Victims usually do too, locking themselves in their room. Sleepy. And we're stick up his ass for you hero over here. Listen. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing that ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already! Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! You've forgotten about shitting! Pay attention! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit! Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps... A bond? Bond? I... James Bond? This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Well. Wow, he said that with a straight face? How is he not embarrassed? <laughs> Just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However... He does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible for us to face our enemies individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. <laughs> However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen. What we need right now is a disciplined leadership provided by an unmistakable leader. Right, so Makoto. I see. <laughs> Hajime, got it. Even sports teams need captains after all. I shall accept the position. Huh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second! What? What is it? Jeez. What did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it, you're being too forceful. Yeah, ah jeez is right. Sign to be the leader all on your own? And why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above all others. What are you saying? Seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Wait! Mahiro, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. But... That may be much true, but if we just needed someone who could lead people, then even Sonya can... No. Perish the thought. I'm merely a figurehead. Hey. He must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Yeah, fine. It's all clear now. I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. <laughs> I will guide you all. 
that much, I promise. <laughs> so reliable! It's true he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. Expected of the ultimate affluent prodigy, progeny, to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand, for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? Follow me. It's a Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. Just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Aww. We may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Everyone made similar complaints. They all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Man, I'm hungry. Damn it. Now that you've eaten a little, you're even hungrier. So annoying. Better finish this talk fast, because once he's done, I'm going to eat as much as I can. <laughs> Champy, Magazi, Sandy, Champy! Is Champy the fat one? of stature and physique is a testament to his desire to be the ultimate affluent progeny, no? Um, that truly is grand. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Hmm. Hey, hey! No. Aw. I leave that matter to your discretion. Follow after Byakuya. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. Are you okay, dude? What are you doing? You should head over to the park. Oh, that was me saying that. Ah! Didn't the same thing happen last time, too? Hey! Hajime, how many times are you gonna surprise me? Spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry over to the park. Damn it! Shut up, I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this is all seriously, this is all just one big hassle. <laughs> Damn it! Seriously, if we're on a tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? R relax, snapping up we won't change a thing, okay? Hey! Hajime, it's decided. You better come to the beach with me later. Huh? <laughs> Coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore. I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice. You can't just will a coconut open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. You just don't understand. Fine, be that way. Then we're gonna ask for your help again. He Sorry. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. I just realized I'm gonna have to look for the, uh, the bears. They also don't show up when you press the button, so... Finding them might be a little difficult. I also wonder if they're actually all here now. Maybe, maybe I have to actually 
progress a little more before they start showing up elsewhere. Strange mono beast machine is blocking the bridge. I shouldn't carelessly approach it. Ah, uh, what the fucky is that? What the fuckle? For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um... It seems you're just too fast for us. Uh, I never expected a fatso like him to move so fast. Come on, man. What? Then again, he's being awfully demeaning towards skinny people. Like, he's very much using his weight as a sign of power. Which, you know, cool, but... I guess that disrespect is going down both roads there. So, what's this supposed to be? What? Or, sorry, what's supposed to be here? Here? Really? Such ignorance. You haven't noticed, then. I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. What... What is... that? 21 days left. An obviously out-of-place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down! I mean, not in that screenshot, but when you actually What's look at it up close. On? Was this here last time we came? No! I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hm. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown when it was actually placed here. It appears. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? <clears throat> I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe this is happening. Hold on! It better not be a bomb! Are you kidding me? A b -b bomb Not possible. If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Um. Why are they counting down? Hmm. It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious, a mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She's back. M Monomi? What? Why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Um... No, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. It appears you cannot escape. You must be an undead abomination, risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld, by black magic. <laughs> Do you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need, like, a spear or something. A spear? What was that? What was that word? <laughs> a spear? What a mean thing to say. However, you arrived at a perfect time. There's something I want to ask you. Come on. What is the meaning behind this tam timer and this countdown? Answer me. Countdown? Ah! What is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Hey. You really don't know? I'm sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. You don't know even though you're Monokuma's little sister? That's wrong! I'm not my brother's little sister! Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? Alrighty! Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um... Let's... together. I said get lost. Yeah. I'm sorry! Um... Perhaps you're being a little too harsh. I'm starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonya, may I call you Miss Sonya? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be fooled. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. 
Hey, bastard. Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here, and how do they do it in just one night? Hmm. Can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that un unimaginable. This island's full of mysteries that we can't even begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? Hmm. I wasn't trying to think about that since it's been bugging me too, but he he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This, too, must be the will of causality. All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. <laughs> so it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it matures, it is inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. That is... Such a sad trend. Hmm. I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. Actually, no, if you're in the real world, it's pretty much the same. Maybe the Mono Beast killed everyone on this island? What? And that's how it became uninhabited? It's certainly possible. But we don't know that for sure. Hm. This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. It's like everything here is just full of mysteries. Hm. You're right, it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? So, in other words... This situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous art organization. <laughs> enormous organization? Hmm. Monomi, Monokuma, the Mono Beasts. They're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Are we screwed? Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. In other words... That organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then... Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not possible. They're likely running from this from somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Ah, oh, fuck. This is... This is turning into, uh, into, into that show. From, from that service about the people in, in that country. Where would that be? I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. A big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words... There's my Togami Corporation, Sonya's Nova Select Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu Clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hey! Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kuzuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonya. Miss Sonya's a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Just shut up already, loser. Whoa. L loser? Are you talking about me? Yeah. It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> it must be hard to make your living in the lame-ass loser industry. Uh. You. Too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Byakuya, were you serious just now about this being related to your families and Sonya's and such? Hmm. I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge organization, right? However... Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway... Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. Oh, man. So, in other words... What we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the E-Handbook, we are free to explore this island. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. I'm gonna do it! Let's get this crap done! <laughs> oh, what are we looking for? Hey. Kane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Fine. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. 
go by four dark gathers <laughs> of destruction. Wow. Hamsters came out of your scarf. They were hamsters. I knew it. <laughs> They're so adorable. What? Adorable, do you say? Thank you. Oh. Oh my my! You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. Definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. What is with you all of a sudden? I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate. Then, what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Listen. Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most, most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? <laughs> That's like, totally awesome! <laughs> that right of his hand is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him. Ham Hands. Ham Hands? You say? Hmm. I never thought I'd... I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Why aren't you getting mad? Naturally. Why would I get mad? Why would I get mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation. He's totally monologuing right now. Such silly talk. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person, after all. All right! We should listen to Byakuya and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great! Because we're not alone. We have friends and we can count on to uh, We have friends we can count on to support each other. Gross! That sounds so lame. <laughs> I knew it. I was just thinking to myself how lame I sounded for saying that. Friends, huh? Up until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. Never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, it's more like because of this situation. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. Huh. I'm starting to think like that. Doesn't that show I'm making good progress? Now then, there's no reason to hole up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there'll be moments called free time. During free time, you'll be able to strengthen your friendship by spending time with other students. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might make an even better impression. You can obtain presents from the Mono Mono Yashin and the vending machine at the supermarket. Yashin? When you strengthen a, a friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Osama vi Osami via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass, and you will return to your cottage afterward. After passing the time several times, your free time will end and you, can th you will continue on to the main story. By the way, you could skip free time by resting in your cottage bed. Although I don't really recommend it. Please use it if you just want to continue to the main story right away. For ominous sounding free time. Kind of like an intermission. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what this is. However, um, it is pretty much exactly when I plan on stopping. So this is a good time for me to not pull up the inner transcript or pull up the e-handbook. Ugh. My, my throat is hurting. Okay, cool. Whew. 
haven't haven't done a, haven't done a reading like that in a while. Uh, not since the second the first Great Ace Attorney game, which I might stream the second one of when I finish this. But uh, yeah, this was pretty fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more of this and seeing what more of this game has in store for us and who dies and who lives and what the big twist is at the end. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And then uh, at some point I'll play V3 V3, not Danganronpa 3 because Danganronpa 3 is an anime. How's that for confusing? Anyway, my throat is killing me. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. I always do. Uh, and thank you for following too, if you did. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandoned. Plenty of people streaming there right now. My auto host will take you to someone once I go offline. You'll have a great evening, and I will hopefully be back tomorrow with another extended stream of this. Good night.